Okay, let's start with this workshop. Step 1 and step 2, it's going to be used in the following. The main goal is to use both of them for the chemical process of chlorobenzene reaction. So it has a leftover of benzene, hydrogen chloride. The main idea is to purify chlorobenzene. So it goes here in the inlet, then it gets flashed. So volatile gas go through here then they will be absorbed this must be HCl mostly and then all this gets back to the process as a liquid so this right here is mostly chlorobenzene benzene and HCl leftovers in this flash we're going to get rid of the hydrogen chloride and this should be mostly chlorobenzene and benzene once we distillate it we get, we're going to get chlorobenzene and benzene purified so here are the specifications. We start with a feed as follows to almost equimolar benzene chloro and chlorobenzene. This can be found also as one chlorobenzene. So select any of these species, definitely should be chlorobenzene. No, actually, this is not the chloro, we want monochlorobenzene right here. Add. Now the method, none is stated, so I'm going to assume NRTL run for the simulation yep now let's go to the simulation environment let's start building our simulation so this is the well let's start with the blocks this is a separator this is a flash 2 so a normal flash then the absorber which technically is step 1 so step one goes here. This is a mixer. Then we need to add this flash, which is actually step one. So this is this is very important because we're using a step one as a flash. And finally we got a distillation column with which technically is step two. So this one goes here. Perfect. Now let's add all the streams. Vapor phase goes here. We have two streams, the vapor and this one right here. Let's add this one here. Adding all the required streams. Oops. Let's make this more static. Okay. Perfect. Now let's start adding the data. The feed. PSI 32, mole flow rate, benzene 50, 40, 50. Now, this flash will be stated at 200 Fahrenheit, 32 PSI. This separator has the following split fractions. And let's fill this. Now, now ensure that we're using this as a base. So this is based on this flow rate, the gas. So ensure we're using the gas flow rate, which is S4. Oops. Now S4, benzene must be this value, 91.75 for hydrochlorine. CB will be 0. Okay, perfect. Now, 
we must state this flash. This flash will be based on SEP1 on the gas again. So this is essentially just hydrogen chloride. Which we didn't have. So based on S10, this will be only hydrogen chloride. All other zero and zero. Finally, step two will be based on the bottoms. So the bottoms right here is S9. Bottoms and will be 95.8 chlorobenzene. And zero point zero. Okay. Now let's run the simulation. There were no errors, no warnings, so the mass balance must have been complete. So this is what's happening. 140 kilomol go in. Most of the HCl gas goes here and gives. Actually, this is 40. 36 plus 4 is 40. That is the total mole balance. And this will be the chlorobenzene right here. And this will be the... What's this? This is mostly benzene. Okay. So this is how we set up separators. Once again, this is based only on material balances, not in physical or chemical equilibrium.